In the 24 form so far, we've learned commencement, part the horse's mane left, part the horse's mane right, part the horse's mane left again, half step, white crane spreads its wings, brush knee push, brush knee push, brush knee push, half step, play guitar, and last week we learned step back to repulse the monkey. The next sequence is called grasping the bird's tail. It's symmetrical, we do it on both sides, and it consists of four parts. Ward off, roll back, press or squeeze, and push or press down. Now, this is called grasping the bird's tail, but it has nothing to do with a bird's tail. Grasping the bird's tail is a Chinese expression, which means paying attention to the important details or getting down to the nitty gritty. This uh, word off is also called pan. Roll back is lui. And press or squeeze or cram, as it's sometimes called, is ji. And the last movement is called an, which is like pushing a button or setting something aside. The first part of grasping the bird's tail is called warding off, or in Chinese, pan. Now, pan is a, an onomatopoetic expression, and it translates into English as pan, or boing, or sometimes people will say bump. It is often translated as ward off, or warding off. In the 24 form, we do grasp the bird's tail on both sides, but we'll start with doing the pan to the left. So, from the last repulse monkey. So, we have just finished step back to repulse a monkey four times. And after the fourth one, you will find your feet pretty much in a straight line, your weight on the back leg, your front foot on the toe or the ball of the foot. Left hand fingertips at eye level, pushing, right hand palm up under the dantian, below the belly button. From here, to begin pan, or word off, the first movement in grasping the bird's tail. You can drop the hands and let them relax. Again, drop the hands, let them relax. Continue twisting the waist and let the right hand float up. And the left hand turns palm up as if you're holding a ball. Again, from the last repulse monkey, right palm up under the dantian, left palm fingertips at eye level. Drop the hands and continue twisting the waist, holding a ball on the right, with the right hand on top. As you do, draw in your left toe. Again, drop the hands, turn, hold the ball, draw in the left toe. After you draw in the left toe, you now step out again, but a little bit wider than you did the first time. Then we shift forward and do pan. The left hand rises, palm in at shoulder level, and the right hand drops palm down by the hip. So from the last repulse monkey, Drop the hands, twist and hold the ball. Slowly step out. Shift as you raise the left hand palm in, drop the right hand palm down. The left arm is round as if you're hugging a tree. Don't try to push with the forearm. Don't extend the arm. It's not like parting the horse's mane. This is pan. So from the last repulse monkey, feet in line. Drop the hands. Twist and hold the ball, then step, placing the heel, then the toe, and then shift, pan, like so. Shoulders relaxed, elbows dropping, left arm round, knee over the front foot but not past the toe, right toe turning a little, and the hips in the same direction as the weighted leg. One point about the footwork here, when you finish the last repulse monkey, the feet are in a fairly straight line. Drop the hands, draw in the top, hold the ball, right hand on top. From here, you step out and across a little. So when you finish grasping the bird's tail, you'll have a little bit of room laterally between the feet. So in a repulse monkey, it's as if you're standing on a railway track. You draw up the hands, turn to hold the ball. Now you step across to the other track, or towards the other track. So that when you do pan, the arm is round, 
the energy will be lining up a little bit to the corner. So the power of pan is a little bit diagonal. Eyes on the fingertips, or a little bit past them. Right hand palm down at hip level. The right arm should be relaxed. So let the shoulder relax, the elbow hand, let the hand drop, and then just sit the wrist, joka. So, again, from the last repulse monkey, drop the hands, turn, hold the ball, step out a little to the side, and pan, like that. From the back, repulse monkey, left fingertips at eye level, drop the hands, turn the waist, hold the ball with the right hand on top, the left hand, left foot draws in, then step out a little bit to the side, place the heel, then the toe, and then pan. Fingertips about shoulder level, maybe a little higher. Shoulder sinking, elbow dropping, nice and round like you're hugging a tree. So if you hug a tree, or a longer, whatever your preference is, Next, we'll work on Rui, or rolling back.